just excited to continue uh, continue my march. It's uh, we, it's not official official, but I guess it's all but official. So now that we know the matchup, International Fight Week, talk about the fact that, that you and Masu will be getting in there. What is what is uh, what does that mean to you? Who? <laughs> I mean, once it's on a battle agreement, you got to know the name, right? Um, you know, yeah, nothing's official, you know, but it is what it is. Like, at the end of the day, I'm a professional. You know, there's a reason I'm the champ, and I've proven that I'm the champ. Um, you know, he, he's just a guy now that, um, you know, it's kind of funny to me to actually really watch what he's become, you know, because it's the same guy, same journeyman. You know, but now he's become everything that he said he, he wouldn't be. Everything he fought against, you know, being the cliche and being this and that. He's exactly that guy right now. So it is what it is, more power to him. You know, at the end of the day, when I sign out on dotted line, I'm going to go in there and take care of business. Well, he's saying some pretty rough things about you, man. Is it getting personal at all? I mean, he's, he's saying, so, you know, calling you a guy with multiple personalities, saying he can't wait to smash your face. And, and You know, I, I think um, if you look at the top five, you know, um, Besides, I would say maybe uh, Woodley. You know, who in that division? I'm, I've been the same guy since I came into the UFC. You know, I've always been this fly. I've always dressed the way I did. <laughs> you know, um, it's just that now I have a bigger platform to where everybody actually gets to see some of those things. I've always said the same thing that I wanted to say. You know, I've always been confident because that's the way that I train. And I believe in myself and in my abilities. I've never changed one bit. I tell you what I'm gonna do, and I go in there and I get it done. He's a guy, remember, that never wanted to do media. Oh, he's too good for that, he's too good for this. But this clown is showing up at fights now with a robe on. This guy's wearing a suit pretending to be Tony Montana now. You know, he's turned into every day that he said he wasn't, that he wouldn't be. You know, I actually read uh, something the other day that said that him and Kobe plotted this back when they were, uh, you know, sharing a room, sharing a bed together and, and, and sharing women. But it is what it is. Uh, that's what they plotted and it's coming to flourishing. But I'm happy to uh, be the guy to, you know, send them both packing. I mean, after this, me and Dan Lambert are friends. After this, he got to put up a picture of me in that gym because, you know, I've ran through everybody in that gym. So he's got to put up a picture of me next. What do you think about the, the, the street mentality at the Super Bowl, how he's trying to walk up on you? No, but see, that's not, there's nothing street about that. You know, if you, what's street is if you got a problem with somebody, you walk up and you do something. That's the reason you run down on him. He said you were incapacitated at the time. He said I was incapacitated. He said he had a yeah. sling or something on. I didn't see the he video. He seen me. I, I, had a, I had a big cast on the week before. I got it cut off and I had a removable cast on. A removable cast so obviously I can be able to still work on my physical therapy. Put a removable cast on. He seen that and got shook. If you run down on somebody, that means you want to do something. He didn't do anything. <laughs> he came there uh, and you know, made gun signs with his hands. Pop, pop. I'm against you, I'm against you, I'm against you. He didn't do nothing. He was afraid of the cast. That's what stopped him from attacking somebody if he wanted to. You know, he came there for the media and the attention to, to get viral. And that happened and it worked for him. So good for him. If that is the fight, I'm more than happy to uh, let him know why I am the champion. Do you, do, 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 I won't say to make you laugh the fact that he thinks that he's going to be able to beat you in all phrases, include wrestling. No it, no, it is what it is. I mean, I mean let's, let's be honest. Like I said, uh, people can't wait to you know, point to that guy and say, no, this is the guy that's going to get it done. That's the guy that's going to get it done. Um, all the things that he's saying now, it's just uh, it's kind of comical to me because um, not too long ago, we sat here and we saw Tyron Willis say, if he came down to a wrestling match, he would kick my ass. If he came down to a jiu-jitsu match, he would break my arm. If he came down to a, a striking match, he would knock me out. And then we heard the next guy. And you saw what happened to him. Then we heard the next guy say, oh, I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to send him into retirement. I'm going to do this. I'm going to deport him. I'm going to decap decapitate him. I'm going to do all this, this, and that. We saw what happened to that guy. Now we've got this guy. You know, at the end of the day, that's what they have to do to get themselves a fight. It is what it is. I'm just being me. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take care of business as a champion. Stylistically, I think Masvidal's biggest threat to you would be on the stand-up. So is that something you're aware of and you would go to the wrestling? Or like in your last fight against Colby, would you be happy to prove your stand-ups as good? I mean, let, let, let's, weigh, let's weigh it out right now. Uh, Masvidal standing, Masvidal, me standing with Masvidal or me standing with Tyron Woodley? Which one? Is, yeah, a little more. Uh, Tyron Woodley, more power. Tyron Woodley can touch you and put you out. I should be worried about Masvidal. He couldn't knock out Nate Diaz. I should be worried about Masvidal. Come on, man. 
This guy's fought, fought Damian Meyer. What happened? He took an L. He fought Wonder Boy. What happened? He took an L. Now, it's crazy to me that he has all this hype and everyone says, oh, he's this striker, he's this killer, he's this, this, and that. It doesn't matter. I'm going to do me. I'm going to put him on his ass. I'm going to beat on him until he wants to quit. And then if he stands up, I'm going to knock him out if I need to. But everyone's talking about striking. First of all, you got to stand upright to strike. Don't think I'm not going to take you down. I'm going to take you down. Period. There's no secret to what's going to happen. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to beat on you too. Quit. In the meantime, you're trying to set up interpromotional uh, super fights? Is it you're trying to <laughs> challenge champs from other promotions right now? I'm not trying to challenge anybody. I'm the champ. Everybody has to challenge me. You know, I just got it. When those fights come, I just thank God and I go out there and take care of business. You kind of alluded to it a second ago. Does it trip you out that people don't give you the credit the way that you beat Tyra? Not that you beat him, but the way that you beat him? No, it is what it is. I. I I'm just used to that, you know, whether I get credit or not, at the end of the day, you got to respect me because I am the champion, so, you know, it's one of those things to where I feel like some of the great guys, some of the great ones that we've ever seen, they might not get that credit right away while they're there doing it, you know, but once they're gone or once they, 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 they decided to leave the sport, that's when that credit starts coming up, like, oh my God, look who he beat, look who he beat, look, who he beat. look at the run that he had, so, you know, I'm not necessarily worried about that, whether or not they want to give me the credit, at the end of the day, they got to respect me. Well, that'd be basically be boring. It would be clearing out the division in a way because he really beat so many to get to the bar. I've already kind of cleared out the division. If you haven't seen that top six, seven. <laughs> After this fight, let's be honest. That's all I'm asking. asking. Who, who would be next? I ran through the all six, all six guys. So now I'll leave that up to the fans. If we want to do inner promotional stuff, I'm with it too. You know, so it is what it is. The, you know, the possibilities are limitless. What do you make of that? I mean, that fight between them and the the hoop, Leon was in time with it. It's a, it's a good fight, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, I, ha I don't, you know, it's not a fight that I'm looking at saying, "Oh my God, I'm these guys coming up." You know, I've already kind of taken care of both of those guys. But you know, as a fan, you know, because I'm a fan of the sport, I'm a fan of a lot of the guys. You know, whether I like them or not, I'm a fan of them. I like to watch them and I like to study them. And uh, Leon Edwards is a you know very talented guy. Um, so it's Tyra Wood, you know, former champion, you know, ruled the division for a while. So I give props to his dude. These guys are both uh, very, very good fighters, and I can't wait to see that. Do you want, do you want uh, Jorge to leave that BMF title at home, or do you want him to bring it to that fight? No, I want him to bring it. Like I said, you bring that. You don't put that up too. It's not a title. There's no. It's, it's just a. It's a participation level. That's all that is. It's like back in the school, you know, elementary field day. Got the you green know, ribbon. You got the yeah. You got the first place one. Usually the blue one. You got the first, second, and you know third place. And then they give all the yellow participation ones just so you can feel good about yourself. That's pretty much all that is. Like you think he's sitting at home looking at that thing. Yeah, I'm a DMF champ. Yeah. You know, it's just a participation battle. But yeah, I want him to bring it. I want everything. I want him to bring it so I can take it, throw it in my closet. He says that if somebody, if he's going to put it up, you have to put something up for value also. <laughs> I got the gold. So that that one is silver, copper, whatever, what, what color? <laughs> so, I mean, silver, I mean, brother. Silver, is it silver? I had like a purple tint. I, I didn't know. I thought it was copper. But, you know, I, that really doesn't matter. All that matters is the gold. Champ, while Dana was on Radio Row, he said to Will Kane, I believe, of ESPN, that you know a lot of people think that it's cha-ching when guys almost get into it uh, in a public manner, but Dana kind of mentioned that it's not really always the case. Did anybody at all, like maybe from higher up, get to say anything to you guys or talk to you about what happened? No, I, uh, you know, me, myself, uh, you know, I, I kind of had to reprimand myself because you know that's not how I conduct myself. You know, we're, we're at a Super Bowl event. So that, that was a football event that we were invited to, to to get that opportunity. So, you know, I was just there doing my rounds. I was by myself. You know, my trusted uh, manager, Ali, wasn't even with me. My brother, you know, Muhammad wasn't with me. You know, I, I went solo, you know, because I wanted to just go knock it out, get back to my daughter and, uh, you know, pick her up from school. But, um, you know, he had other plans. He did his media the day before, but he just wanted to come in and get that press, you know, get that viral video. And he did. But, um... Yeah, like like I was saying back to you. No, I had to reprimand myself because that's not how I conduct myself. And uh, and you know, had he actually had the balls to actually step up and want to do something, we would do down right there. And then that would have looked bad for the company. You know, as far as being invited to this event and then you know, 
it turning out that way. Did Ali tell you he was glad he wasn't there or that he wished he was there? I actually, I was glad for him that he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be, everybody knows how, they know how me and him run. That's my role dog. So if anything even pops off, we, we're going to get it in. So I'm glad he wasn't there because somebody would have got smacked. Hey, for what it's worth, I, I, I'm cool with Mike Evans and Jalen Ramsey. They text me asking when y'all going to fight. So you got NFL players that are intrigued. Yeah, no, no, no. I got, like, I got a ton of friends that play in the league. You know, Mark, they hit you up? Mark Ingram, one of my, you know, my good buddies. Uh, you know, a lot of different guys. But everyone's just looking forward to me fighting. That's the thing is, you know, I might not get all the, the, the respect from all these fans or some of the media guys, but at the end of the day, I know my core guys. I know my family supports me. And, uh, you know, I'm the king of the mountain right now. What uh, exactly did you mean when you said you were going to put some Cuban coffee? In the <laughs> you, know, you know, sometimes somebody, you know, needs to be humbled a little bit, you know. You know, you drink enough of those Cuban coffee, you might get humbled. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I'm, I let the guy do his thing, let him continue to talk the way he wants to talk. But at some point, same thing that I tell all these guys. Anything that you say can and will be used against you inside that office. So at some point, if it's him, he's gonna get locked in there with me, and uh, you know, you might have to have one too many Cuban coffees. You keep saying if. We thought it was done. Dana says it's done. He's having. Why if? That's one thing you guys know about the UFC. Nothing's a done deal unless it's a done deal. So. So are the contracts not signed? No. That's the time. Are there any potential roadblocks we should know about? <laughs> Everybody likes red patty night. <laughs> I like red patty night myself. So, no, it is what it is. Um, you know, once those contracts are signed, then everything is signed, sealed, and delivered. So, if the contract doesn't get signed, your number two option would probably be what would your preference be? Oh no! Like I said, everybody loves red patty night. So, <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll go back and we'll take a look at that. Could you see uh, Red Panty Night being in the national flag? Absolutely. What? International that might be the, the, the nice Red Panty Night, you know, <laughs> the, with the laces and everything. You know, <laughs> you know it, it can, anything can happen. Let's just say that. Anything can happen. Are you still in the uh, UFC Africa and the UFC here? Like absolutely. That? Absolutely. That, that, that is going to happen. You know, um, at some point, that is going to happen. A moment ago, you said something about how everything between Colby and Jorge might not be real in the end. Do you think they'll ever actually fight? Do you actually think it's real right now? Think about it. We saw what happened with Colby. Now, is this the Masvidal that you're looking at right now? Is this the Masvidal of old, the Masvidal we've grown to could love and have, you know, grown accustomed to? It's not the same guy. You know, this guy showing up, you know, with the fake Tony Montana suit, acting like he's this. This guy truly believes he's street Jesus. He believes he's Jesus. You know, he's walking around saying, I'll baptize guy. This guy really believes he's Jesus. So, no, it is what it is. I think these guys are, they, they find their niche and they run with it. You know, and that might be a knock on me for not, you know, acting ignorant, not acting outlandish, not going out there giving them all these sound bites and all this, because I'm a regular guy. I came into this as a regular guy who just wanted to work hard and be the best at it, and I am. I don't need to do any extras. So, so you, basically, you don't feel he's being real. He's being he's being authentic. And come on, man, we know that. We know he's not. But it is what it is. More power to him. Cool. Fair play to him, as Connor would say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.